Okay, the technology is something that I bring in towards the next generation internet, essentially two. One is the Internet of Things, which means connected objects, and the second one is uh, uh, networking and distributed data. So how to distribute data in the best possible way, where to put it in the network, how to retrieve it, and how to move it fast from one location to another one. Um, to me, they're both very important uh, technologies in the next generation internet. Uh, first of all, I mean, we, we talk a lot about the Internet of Things. We, we hear a lot even from mainstream media nowadays about connected objects. Many times, I mean, it is actually not true connected objects. Uh, when I think about even you know, the example that I can give to everybody of, of, of Internet of Things is the fridge that is ordering the eggs and the butter by itself. I don't need to go to the supermarket to do that. Okay, I just tell the fridge that I want free range eggs and I want you know this, this brand of butter, I'm really happy with it. And when you finish, I just want a new one, period. So this is Internet of Things, objects that are performing a task, helping the humans, I mean, to, to save time and, uh, and to enjoy in a sense life better. So uh, given that, I mean how this will influence in five years. For the example I just gave, for the fridge, of course, there is a huge change that needs to be done, in, uh, especially in, um, in the business part, in the business side, and business modeling. Because in this specific example, I mean, we're not changing the fridge as fast as we're changing our, our mobile phones or, or our computers. You know, usually a fridge, I mean, lasts 12 years on average. And, you know, if it breaks down after five or six, we're really unhappy. So, I mean, there has to be a different business model in which, for instance, we do actually do not own the fridge, but we just, you know, buy the service of the fridge to a provider, I mean, which can be a company, which can be whoever, I mean, and then the fridge gets updated, in a sense, as, uh, uh, as the mobile phone, I mean, with the current contract that we might have with, uh, with the provider. So, this actually may change, you know, significantly, I mean, the life of, uh, of people in the next five years. What concerns, I mean, data transfer, I mean, we uh, have been working in this field for now more than 20 years and for more than 20 years I keep hearing that, you know, there is too much data and it will be a huge problem and, you know, oh my god, the data collected, I mean, we'll never manage to transfer it and, you know, so far so good. I mean, I'm still able to, to watch movie on, uh, uh, on YouTube or, or whatever, on clips. Um, Something, I mean, that was forecasted that would never work, actually it never worked. For instance, the MMS, uh, uh, for what concerns, I mean, the, the, the uh, telephone companies and, 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 uh, and lines. Uh, so some predictions were corrected. And what is really important, I mean, in transferring data fast, I mean, between, uh, between endpoints and, and where to put it, is also to help, I mean, the backbone and the infrastructure to uh, optimize, I mean, what we have today. You know, in the past, I mean, nowadays, I mean, we see that these investments are very scarce, you know, for new infrastructure. And they're really seen as badly, because the, the return of investment is not as clear as it seemed to be in the past. Uh, therefore, I mean, it's really important to know how to use better our infrastructure. And therefore, I mean, if we develop uh, extension of current protocols or new protocols, I mean, for transferring data or new mechanisms where to put the data smartly, I mean, in the net or in the cloud, uh, we can actually reuse, I mean, most of the current uh, equipment and most of the current infrastructure and have a, a very good result in terms of performance.